Welcome to a journey back to 1974, where Steven Spielberg's directorial prowess first graced the silver screen with the Sugarland Express. Before we delve into intriguing tidbits about the film, ask yourself, do you hold a cherished memory tied to this cinematic gem? Or perhaps, has it left an indelible mark on your life? Share your personal stories in the comments below, we'd love to hear them. Now, let's set the stage for the unveiling of random facts about this classic. Spielberg, fresh from his success with Duel, embarked on a new venture that would showcase his storytelling finesse. The film introduces us to the plight of a young couple, Lou Jean and Clovis, determined to reclaim their child from the clutches of the foster care system. A tale of desperation, love, and the open road unfolds against the backdrop of the Texas landscape. What follows is a captivating narrative punctuated by Spielberg's signature touch, marrying suspense with heart-wrenching emotion. The film not only marked a milestone in Spielberg's career, but also left an indelible mark on audiences. Its impact, both then and now, extends beyond the confines of the screen. Now, as we explore these captivating insights, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey. Your stories add depth to the narrative, making it a collective tapestry of shared experiences. So, what's your story? We eagerly await your anecdotes and memories in the comments below. Let the conversation begin. In the Sugarland Express, a memorable scene unfolds as the caravan passes through Rodrigo. A bystander hands Lugene a piglet as a gift, leading to Goldie Hawn's declaration, he's peeing on me. According to Steven Spielberg, the piglet actually urinated on Hawn during the scene, adding an unexpected touch of humor to the film. The movie holds significance beyond its on-screen moments. Panavision selected the Sugarland Express for the launch of Panaflex, a compact camera that allowed Spielberg to capture intricate shots inside a patrol car. This technological advancement played a crucial role in shaping the visual narrative of the film. Interestingly, the real-life kidnapped patrolman, James Kenneth Crone, played a small role in the movie as a deputy sheriff. Crone's involvement extended beyond acting. He also served as a technical advisor for the film, providing insights into the law enforcement perspective that contributed to the movie's authenticity. These behind-the-scenes details highlight the unique aspects that define the Sugarland Express. From unexpected piglet antics to technological innovations in filmmaking and the involvement of the actual kidnapped patrolman, the film weaves together various elements that make it a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. In a meticulous effort to find the perfect on-screen child for Goldie Hawn and William Atherton in the 1974 film, the Sugarland Express co-producer Richard D. Zanuck faced a unique challenge. Struggling to locate a child who convincingly resembled the two stars, Zanuck made an unconventional decision. He cast his own son, Harrison Zanuck, in the role. This casting choice added a personal touch to the film, creating an unexpected familial connection within the storyline. The selection of Zanuck's son underscored the lengths to which the production team went to achieve authenticity in the casting process. This decision by Zanuck subtly contributed to the overall texture of the Sugarland Express, providing a distinctive aspect to the movie's behind-the-scenes narrative. Interestingly, this casting decision is just one of many intricacies that make the Sugarland Express a notable piece of cinematic history. From unexpected casting choices to the technological innovations and real-life inspirations behind the scenes, the film weaves together various elements that, when examined closely, enrich the viewer's understanding and appreciation of this 1974 classic. Stunt coordinator Kerry Lofton, for instance, went to great lengths to ensure the safety and realism of the film's car crashes. Importing the best stunt drivers from Hollywood, Lofton orchestrated a challenging night collision sequence. The absence of road lights at the filming location posed a challenge, prompting the art director to ingeniously create a makeshift lighting setup. The sequence capturing a police car sideswiping another vehicle and triggering a chain reaction showcases the meticulous planning and execution required for such intense scenes. The strategic use of lighting, the coordination of stunt drivers, and the ingenuity behind the scenes highlight the dedication to authenticity and craftsmanship in the Sugarland Express. These details, coupled with the unconventional casting choices, collectively contribute to the film's enduring legacy. In retrospect, it's fascinating to explore the intricacies that shape this cinematic gem. From the Zanuck family connection to the meticulous planning of core crash sequences, each element adds a layer to the story of the Sugarland Express that goes beyond what unfolds on the screen. This 1974 film stands as a testament to the collaborative efforts 
and creative decisions that breathe life into the world of cinema. John William Sparse, an evocative score for the Sugarland Express, played a crucial role in shaping the film's atmosphere. Steven Spielberg, impressed by William's previous works, initially envisioned a symphonic score in the style of Aaron Copland. However, Williams successfully persuaded Spielberg that the film required something sparser. The score predominantly featured a solo harmonica and a few strings, setting a tone that complemented the tense narrative. In a different aspect of the production, Spielberg faced a challenge in harmonizing the acting styles of Goldie Hawn and William Atherton. Atherton, with a background in stage acting, improved with each take, while Hahn delivered her best work in the initial attempts. To navigate this, Spielberg strategically began with Hahn's close-ups, later capturing Atherton's close-ups when Hahn hit her stride. This method allowed him to capture both actors at their best, showcasing their distinct strengths in the film. The director also demonstrated his innovative visual style in a pivotal scene where a rifleman aims at the approaching hijacked car. Spielberg employed a zoom tracking effect, a technique first used by Alfred Hitchcock in Vertigo. This method, later revisited in Jaws, effectively compressed foreground and background elements, intensifying the suspense and highlighting Spielberg's evolving directorial techniques. In summary, The Sugarland Express stands out not only for its compelling narrative, but also for the collaborative efforts that shaped its unique qualities. From John Williams' impactful score to Spielberg's adept handling of diverse acting styles and innovative visual techniques, the film is a testament to the artistry and ingenuity that defined its production. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey we've embarked upon, let's pause and ponder the indelible imprint left by the Sugarland Express on our hearts. This 1974 masterpiece, woven with the threads of thrill and emotion, invites us to traverse the highways of reminiscence, where nostalgia and storytelling intertwine. As you reflect on the road traveled alongside Lou Jean and Clovis, the echoes of their pursuit linger in the corridors of your own experiences. What moments struck a chord? Was it the adrenaline fuel chase or the subtle nuances of human connection? The beauty of this film lies not just in its frames, but in the mirror it holds to our own narratives. Now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share the kaleidoscope of your thoughts or unveil the cherished fragments of your memory reel inspired by the Sugarland Express. Let your voice resonate, transcending the celluloid and intertwining with the collective tapestry of storytelling. In the realm of cinema, our shared reflections transform into an ever-expanding mosaic testament to the timeless allure of storytelling. As you craft your narrative, remember that every anecdote, every emotion adds a brushstroke to this living masterpiece. Thank you for joining this expedition through the cinematic landscape. Your unique perspective enriches the collective experience, making our journey all the more captivating. Until our narratives entwine once again, revel in the magic of your own storytelling. Immerse yourself in the conversations sparked by the Sugarland Express and let your voice be heard in this boundless symphony of narratives. Your thoughts, your memories, they are the ink that colors the pages of our shared cinematic story. Crafted with cinematic finesse and a touch of nostalgia, 